What's up, you beautiful people? Today, we are going to create some amazing fingerboard obstacles. And this is a method of creation that we've never done before here on Undialed. Fortunate for us, Clayton went out of his way and he bought this beautiful machine right here. And see, this isn't just your normal machine. This machine, it prints things. And not just in your normal two dimensions. This is three-dimensional printing. And because we have the access to three-dimensional printing now, we're gonna create some amazing fingerboard obstacles. And we're gonna show you guys the entire process. So this is not a paid advertisement, but last month I ordered this Prusa Mini. I got it mini because there's some things that I wanted to make. It only needs to be this big. And this is gonna work out perfect for fingerboard obstacles. We're gonna be using the Prusa filament that came with the printer. There's that. We also have a hemp filament, which we'll possibly use because it's hemp and it's the best. But I guess I'm first on the list to create a obstacle. Mine's gonna be very simple. Will's is, Will's is obviously gonna be less complex than mine because you know how he is. So I wanna show you the whole process. So for my simplistic design, I'm gonna be using Blender, which is a free software that you can download yourself and it's pretty easy and there's tons of YouTube videos on it. So if you wanna make some 3D models yourself, if you're bored, Blender is what you want. Basically, I'm just gonna make this, screen record it, and you get to watch the entire process. Boom. Wow, Clayton, you did that so fast. That was crazy. I can't, I just can't believe it. Absolutely insane. So this is the final mock-up of what I just created. Very simple, nothing crazy. It's like a kicker ledge is what I'm gonna call it. And simply, all, all I did is save it. I tossed it in this software for the 3D printer. It was like this small and I scaled it up to the maximum that it can be and created it to a G code and now we're gonna print it. Trusty USB drive. I'm gonna toss this bad boy in, wait for it to heat up. And there she is. It's gonna take two days and four hours. All right, we need to scale that back a little bit. Oh, now it's only gonna take one day, 11 hours. They really loving me, putting pressure on me. Gotta make a slack, get my mama out the track. Then I'm stacking hella bands and some cars from Japan. They all want to be friends when you're living like kid. I was always on the shit, even when I was a jit. All right, guys, so I have the kicker right here, and it's looking real cool so far. Put it on a thumb drive and print it out. Are you ready to rumble? Print. Fuck away, yeah. Hey, boo, what the fuck you want? Don't take it strong. Not seeing different colors in the room. Consume these drugs. Now I'm feeling fucked up. Yo, touch. I just really need some luck. If you want it, motherfucker. So there it is, folks. The kicker is done. Woo. All right, so here it is. This is so sick. So I actually have another obstacle that I'm going to be printing out um, for this video and I've just designed it so let's see how it goes. It's going to take one day and two hours to print though so this is a pretty big obstacle. What is good ladies and gentlemen? So we're at the point in the video right now where the obstacles are finished printing. And this was a long process. Whenever you're 3D printing things, it could take anywhere from three hours to three days, depending on the intricacy and size of the obstacles. So there's a lot of factors that go into place. And to be honest with you, learning how to use this 3D printer has been really accomplishing because it, it opens up your mind into a new way of thinking about X, Y, and Z, and just the way it creates things. So here's the kicker that you guys saw me design and print out. It is so cool. It's not very steep, it's a pretty mellow kicker, but I really wanted to make it as just a fun obstacle that you could apply to other obstacles. It has this really cool aspect about it because when you ride up it, it creates this little like buzzing sound. And the reason being is because the way the 3D printer creates it, it basically has created all these little lines and each one of these little lines is its own layer. So when you ride up it, you're riding across all the different layers of the ramp and it makes this cool noise. So once I finished making this and I was stoked on this, I was like, I wanna take this to the next level. I wanna create an obstacle that's gonna challenge myself from a design aspect, but also create something that's gonna be really fun and usable to ride that will go in companionship with this, this kicker. This quarter pipe is 
really cool in my opinion because yes, it's just a quarter pipe, but it's also, an, I think, like a piece of artwork and it has a lot of character to it. It's also a pull jam as well. I think it just looks very unique and, and fascinating. I put a happy face who's enlightened and a crazy face that's stuck in the midst of some patterns. And I feel like the contrast of those two faces just creates an exponential emotion. And I represent that exponential emotion via the quarter pipe shape. So when riding these obstacles, the only flaw that I've seen is the weight. These ramps are, are very lightweight. And if I go and try to fingerboard on them, they move a little bit. So in order to combat that, I have some stickers right here. And I'm gonna use these stickers to put at the bottom of the transition. Not because it's not smooth, but I just don't want it to move. In the future, I think the smart move would be to add little wells at the bottom of the ramp. So that way you can put little non-sticks down here and I will be applying that to future obstacles. But for right now, this is what it looks like and this is where I'm at with my 3D printing progression. So mine finished up printing last night and Will and I were very curious because all of these, especially this intricate one that he made, this one itself took 24 hours to print, but for some reason, the one I designed was gonna take one day, 11 hours. And I think I know why. I guess we're kind of starting to see the boundaries of what the 3D printer is capable of, at least this one, not other 3D printers, but specifically the Prusa Mini. So if you can tell, how much steeper this ramp is than this. This honestly might be kind of the boundary point of where it starts to get to this. So I think for the fact that this ramp ended up being too mellow and the fact that I tried to cut out a lot of this to save time printing, if this was all solid, I think it would have been not as flimsy. We have a trampoline ledge. But besides that one, I think these all came out really crazy. Eventually we're gonna have to make an entire skate park out of 3D printed material, which would be pretty freaking sick. To keep everything in place, I'm gonna put this amazing quality root sticker on. Boom, and then that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't don't mind the, the ollies. <laughs> now I'm gonna put this other root industry sticker on. The quarter pipe. Dude, that does sound cool. I feel like I'm DJing. Huh. <laughs> and that's how we do it. Chill. Chill, Mr. Owl. Oh. Ooh. All right. Yeah. I. Yeah. Wanna stop trick. Yeah. That's how we do it. Now that you've seen these amazing obstacles, especially this one, oh, thank you. what we're gonna do, we are actually going to sell these on the website. We'll also throw in some free stickers so you can tie them down however you please. And if you get tired of it, you can rip it up, throw another sticker on, and you're good to go. No worries. You can find these on the dialed.co website. And there's hoodies, amazing hoodies actually, made out of hemp. Not 3D printed hoodies, that'd be uncomfortable. We got pins, all that good stuff, but we do have another drop coming soon. But you'll only be able to get it at somewhere very specific that we can't mention yet. But more information will be out soon, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Wanna stop tracing my no fit. Mama Ben knew I was a fucking no sense. Alright, rest up in the trap, they know I don't let. They fuck with